some of you were here at lunch, so you already know it. See, speaking of who was here at lunch, Steve and Kim were here. Who else was here at lunch? Nobody else. So good. Can I use you, Steve? So this is going to be a, a choke setup from guard. Thank, thank uh, full that Steve took the gi out for me. But as you're training and you're you're going against each other, a lot of times the gis get loose. When I'm training with someone and I have them in my guard, I'm always trying to pull the, the lapel out. I want the lapel out for not only control, but for finishes as well. This, this one I want to set up with my thumb in. So what I do is I sit up right here with my thumb in and see how Steve-O's posture is? It's very straight. If I just try to grab like this, it's going to be strength. Like whoever's stronger is going to win this battle. What I want to do is I want to get my my hand past my elbow. Once my hand gets past my elbow, it's leverage. So I bring my elbow right to his, his chest and I use my legs at the same time to break the posture down. And when he's down, I really hang on it. I'm hanging on his, his shoulder here. What I do is I get this, this collar free and I want to use it's a pistol grip, just like this. And I like to grab his shoulder right here. When I'm ready, what I do is I shift my hips. Look what I do with my legs. I almost bring him to the other side. At the same time, my hips move away. I come up and I loop over his neck. And there's the choke. So right here, thumb in, sit up. My elbow to his, his sternum. I pull with my legs and, and hand together. Gripping my lapel, I grab his sleeves. I'm not doing this so he knows what I'm gonna do. I just kind of sit here for a second, and when I'm ready, a lot of times I open my guard and I just shift, shift him over. I want to be looking at his other ear. This collar right here comes up and I loop over. One, one way to get this choke really tight is just to bring the elbow in. Once you bring it in, it really pulls the, the lapel across his neck. It, it kind of makes it a lot tighter. So I'm up, I grip. Elbow to sternum, I pull, I grip his collar, right here. Grip, shift to the side, loop over, and bring my elbow in. And there's the choke. You guys see that okay? You guys see yeah. it? Yeah. Good. All right, let's do it. Professor. Yes. And when you say elbow, bring it in, are you talking from your left hand or from? I'm talking from the hand. That has to the hand that's gripped in the collar. Okay, so yeah. From here, that's where I'm bringing my elbow in here. And then I use my knees and everything, because I'm connected to him now, to pull him down. Right. Now I get that, I was asking about the, the actual choke, when you say like- Oh, the choke. Yeah. Yeah, so from there, and then you wrap it around. From here I do, let's go this way so we can see it. So from here, look what I do, I pull it up, mm -hmm. I shift my arm over his head, I go right to his neck. Right. And then the elbow comes in. Okay, so it's the right elbow when you're doing yes. that. Yes, yes, that was okay. It was that elbow, the one that's holding this, this yeah. grip right here. Okay. And then, Professor, the initial grip, the first, whichever first hand is, as high up as you can, or does it matter? You know, when I first put my hand in, I like to put it right on the collarbone. That's where I usually start. And as I start to move and adjust, I can always get deeper if I want to. But this is where I usually start. I don't shoot all the way deep in at first. Right on his collarbone. And then as I pull him down, then I can adjust. I can also adjust when I come over here, I shoot the hand in and get a little bit deeper. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right, guys, let's do it. I know if I don't say one, two, three, you guys will stare at me. So one, two, three. <laughs>